So guys, I'm about to go and do something which I promised myself I'd never do again. And that is cross the border into Hong Kong on the national holiday. I'm gonna tell you all about this holiday and I'm gonna tell you why I'm going to Hong Kong in a minute. Right, so I'm crossing the border at Lohu and there's a very specific reason why I'm going to explain later. But let me tell you a little bit about this holiday. Now there are two holidays in China where you don't want to travel anywhere. Uh, the first is this one, which is the national holiday, the Golden Week. It's a seven or eight day holiday, depending on where you work. Um, and it starts on the 1st of October. Um, it is absolutely terrible because during the rest of the year there aren't any big holidays and you know it's quite different to the West people don't get the same sort of flexible holidays as we do so the state kind of gives them two big holidays and a couple of other small ones so nobody travels during the small ones it's only during the big ones when they've got like a whole week so it makes sense they want to go and travel and do the tourist thing around China unfortunately it's basically the whole population all at once getting up and going so any kind of tourist destination any kind of shopping destination it is a nightmare now there's a reason I chose Lohu border because it's the only border that seems to keep the foreigner only queue a foreigner only queue now you might wonder why there are foreigner only queues well I found out the hard way many times you can line up in the the Chinese citizen queues and they, you reach the front and they say bugger off go to the foreigner only queue that's because the computers cannot scan uh, foreign passports and the staff behind the China only terminals they don't know how to you know sign in a foreign owned they, they don't know how that system works and I've I've found this out plenty of times because I've tried to go with my wife etc and it's always a big hassle but if you go to the other borders they very often you know turn the foreigner only queue into a free-for-all and they allow Chinese citizens and foreign foreigners through there so it just becomes a big mess and it's a huge massive wait but in Lohu it seems like you can always get a, a faster line through if you're a foreigner, at least on the China side. Here's a pro tip. When you come out, instead of going to the left, go to the right. It's usually closed, but if you're smart, you can miss the crowds and come here. See the uh, undulating masses are constantly going that way, following the herd where if you come this side you'll be saved a lot of heartache and you can get a seat. Another pro tip, when you get down to the platform, walk all the way to the end over there. Nobody likes to walk this far, but that will guarantee that you have a seat. And in the quiet car, which is awesome. Let's go take a look. So you see, while I'm all by my lonesome out here, if you look all the way down there, the crowds are starting to form. And they're going to get massive. And so I'm going to have this carriage over here all to myself while the masses kind of do their thing down there. So while the masses all fight over their seats back there, I'm simply going to walk into my own private carriage over here. That's awesome. And I think I'll grab myself a seat. That's more like it. Well, now that that nightmare is over, let me tell you what I'm doing here. I'm sitting, well, obviously in the train, but there's a reason why I had to come over here, and that is because my bank, my Hong Kong bank, unfortunately is, well, 
just like any bank in the UK or South Africa has, has so much red tape, it's so frustrating. I wanted to send a transfer overseas to my friend to pay for this Corvette. Um, I sent him all my PayPal balance but it wasn't enough so I had to, you know, do a transfer. And I'd previously gone to my bank to get a security device in order to do transfers. But it turns out if I want to do international transfers, I have to go into my branch, sign a piece of paper with my ID in front of them, give it to them, and then they enable it. So, that's why I have to come into Hong Kong, just for that. But the good news is, is that the uh, Corvette is bought. So, step one. Here's a picture of, here's a picture of it. It's awesome. I can't wait. So, um, it's going to be waiting for me when I get to America, which is fan-bloody-tastic. Anyway, I'm going to do a couple of other things while I'm over here in Hong Kong, so I can show you guys around a bit. And, uh, of course, there's the nightmare of crossing the border back in, which is usually just as bad. So, I'll catch you guys later. Here's another pro tip, guys. Um, you get a CSL prepaid card and uh, it costs you $28 a day to get unlimited internet access. And then you could tether your phone to your laptop or whatever so you have internet access while you're in Hong Kong. So, star 100 star 832 star 3 hash. And that's um, the USSD code that you run. Well guys, mission accomplished. It was quite difficult. You know, right now, moving any kind of money out of China is actually quite a pain in the ass. I guess it's because there's been a lot of um, capital flight and especially foreigners are not allowed in China, in mainland China, to change money from RMB into US dollars anymore. If you go to any of the big banks, I'm sure there are ways to do it still, but I mean you can't just go into a bank and change money into US dollars, they don't allow that. Local Chinese people can do it though, but they need to have appointments and all that. It's not, uh, it's not as simple as just walking in and getting it done. So, um, I ended up going to my bank, I have a Hong Kong bank account here, and uh, even they were very suspicious. Why is uh, someone who lives in the mainland coming here to send US dollars to America? They had to like go ask their supervisor and see if it was okay, and you know, it was really a pain in the ass. But mission accomplished, I got it done, the money's been sent, and I am now the proud owner of the 1993 C4 Corvette, which I'm going to be riding from west coast to east coast to meet all my patrons and subscribers along the way there's a video about this whole plan over here and i'm still working out the the details but i'm going to be visiting more places than i said in that video and uh, it's going to be epic anyway it's time for me to do a little bit of shopping since i'm here hong kong as you know is an international city and you can get all the international amenities they've got amazing things here all the kinds of things you just can't get in mainland. So I'm gonna go and uh, get some cheese and you know, the kind of things that you just can't get. Then I'm gonna go hit that nightmare border again. So catch up with you then. So you may be curious as to why so many people come over to Hong Kong during the holiday. It's not for sightseeing, it's for shopping. So they'll queue up outside shops like Sasa, I guess, and hang out with their luggage and get all the specials and buy tons of crap to take home and that's what it's all about really because you know the Hong Kong dollar is actually weaker than the RMB now and uh, you know there's no sales tax in Hong Kong it's very 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 low so everything's cheaper here so everyone just pops over the border and comes shopping why have a relaxing holiday when you can spend your time off shopping with the masses you know Alright, time to get the hell out of here. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> the border's not as bad going out as it was coming in, but that's kind of wishful thinking. I'm on the other side. It only took me about 
half an hour this time to cross. So I guess the timing was right. Uh, it's probably about two o'clock. Let me check the time. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's four o'clock. Boyong, boyong, boyong. Actual game. Boyong, boyong, boyong. That's one thing you got to watch out for. As soon as you cross the border, you get these guys offering you black taxis. And in fact, I'm going to make a video about that because they're all a scam. And a lot of my friends have been, well, people have come to visit China. A lot of my subscribers have been nailed by these black taxi guys and uh, totally ripped off. So if someone comes up to you when you cross the border saying taxi, just say no. We are. Anyway, let me get the hell back home so I can edit this video. Guys, <laughs> no, matter, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, stay away from traveling during the golden week. And unlike those queues, stay awesome.